ways, it was the exact opposite of the game in Lexington. In Lexington, Tennessee got up early, kept an 8-10 to 10 point lead until the end. Dillingham gave, made a run at the end to give them a shot, and then they still lost. That's how this game was in reverse. We had an 8-14 to 14 point lead most of the second half. They, for the second time in two weeks, had a really rough last minute trying to get the ball up the court, but found a way to win and get a victory. And it's a big game. It was a big win, not just winning at Tennessee, but for seeding purposes. You go to the SEC tournament. Kentucky will now be a two seed in the SEC tournament. They'll play Friday night at 7 o'clock against the winner of Texas A&M and Ole Miss. I mean, you can't ask for a better draw than that, right? Texas A&M or Old Miss in the first round. Uh, Old Miss or A&M, they get it. So to get a two seed, it's just a huge win for Kentucky. And it's a culmination. They've won, what, seven of the last eight? Could easily be eight in a row. I think they are now pretty solidly uh, a three seed in the uh, NCAA tournament, I guess. The problem is I'm not sure they're going to get enough games against good teams in the NCAA tournament, or excuse me, in the SEC tournament to get a two because the way the NCAA does it, they just look to see who you played. They don't care how far you advanced. So we might not get games against good enough teams to get up to a two, but I think we're pretty solidly a three. I think that means Kentucky will not have to go to the West Coast likely for the first and second round. They'll probably play in either Pittsburgh or, or Brooklyn, just looking at how it plays out, which would be a, a way for Kentucky fans to go. So you can't ask for a better night. And it was an awesome game. I mean, I was sitting here looking at the point total. Kentucky scored 85 points, and 83 of the 85 were four guys. <laughs> I mean, that's that's really unbelievable. We had four guys basically scored all our points. Reeves had 27. Shepard had 27. Edwards had 16, and Dillingham had 11, and even Dillingham's were kind of at the end. For a while, it was three guys. At one point, Kentucky had 60 points. 54 of them were either Reeve, Shepard, or Edwards. And those two guys, the first two especially, were unbelievable. Played great. Shot 10 of 15 combined from three-point land. Reed Shepard was 7 of 10 from three-point land. And it was a great culmination to the year because I think those two dudes especially. I mean, listen, Rob Dillingham's been good, really good. Edwards has had good moments, Wagner. But to me, this team is Reeves and Shepard. And it's two guys who are great shooters, smart players, and in many ways kind of not your typical Cal player. And Cal embracing them, and by the end of the year, them kind of being the centerpieces of the team and the team has just taken off. If you go, my friend Meyer Metcalf took a lot of heat online, and I was giving him a hard time because he said Reed Shepard was the most Duke-esque player Cal Perry's ever had, and that's like the worst insult you could give in Kentucky. But I actually don't think he's crazy wrong. Reeves, if you think about it, Reeves and Shepard are guys that we've seen like Mike Krzyzewski crush us with over the years guys that you look at and go why is this dude beating us and not say crush us he they don't play us a lot but just crush teams guys who make threes are annoying i bet if you didn't if you didn't cheer for kentucky you would find reeves and shepherd really frustrating to watch because just when tennessee would make a run one of those guys would hit a dagger i was really really impressed with both we'll start with shepherd i think this will he'll this will be remembered kind of as his game he hit seven threes on the road, which is awesome. You know, it kind of got overshadowed a little bit, got a huge block at the end uh, on a three that, you know, I think would have cut it to two maybe. He got a massive block. Had a couple turnovers, but I thought he was excellent. I mean, it was it was a, anytime Kentucky needed a shot, he hit it. And then Reeves, this the season he's had, ten road games. We'll, I don't know if we'll ever see this again. We played ten road games this year, true road games. He had 15 or more every game, and he had 20 or more eight of the 10 games. That's crazy. And he now finishes his time at Kentucky as the highest points per game of the John Calipari era. 
Billy, that's going to be a trivia question in 40 years. A lot of people are going to get wrong. Antonio Reeves right? is the answer to that Antonio, question? Antonio wow. Reeves is going to be the answer. Who had the most points per game of the Cal Perry era? It's Antonio Reeves. And that's pretty amazing. And those two dudes were excellent. I thought Justin Edwards was great, especially in the first half. Hit uh, three threes in the first half. A lot of them kind of helping Kentucky separate in the lead. And then, as he seems to do all the time, Dillingham made big plays down the stretch. We could talk about the last minute. Hopefully, this is not something in March. In the next four weeks, we look back on and go, why? You know, because this is now two games of the last four where we've kind of collapsed in the last minute. But both times we've won. Um, they got to find a way to get the ball up the court better. You know, you would think it's, it, it seems like some Reeves, Shepard, even Dillingham, Wagner, like everybody gets panicked, and I don't understand why. They're all great free throw shooters. They all can take a foul, and they have a timeout. So I don't understand why they get so rattled down the stretch, but they did. But again, as happened against Mississippi State, they found a way to win. I thought Ugo was very good. Look, he didn't score. But Ugo, I thought defensively, was really, really, really good. He only got credited for four blocks. But I, in my mind, I feel like he either blocked or altered a lot more shots than that. I thought he was excellent. Big Z gave some decent minutes. You know, Aaron Bradshaw only played two minutes, which was a little crazy. Thierro had some good minutes. It wasn't the best Trey Mitchell game. I'm still kind of a little – I don't know how he's going to fit in when you get in the postseason. But we know what this team is now. And Cal knows what it is, too. This team is basically get Antonio Reeves and Reed Shepard shots. And between Edwards, Dillingham, uh, and Wagner, two of those four guys are on the court, and if they're making plays, you can't guard Kentucky. If you can put four guys out there making plays, you can't guard them. You cannot guard them. And then the bigs or Thierro have to play just good enough defense so that you don't lose. Dalton Connect had 40 points. He was awesome. He was awesome tonight. 40 points, 14 of 29 shooting. Took 29 shots. He had 40 points. But they didn't let the other guys beat him. Honestly, besides Ziegler, nobody else really played great, and they were able to get the victory.